What's up everyone, Terraquake here, and I am back with my Pokemon Red Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made it here to Celadon City, and I started taking on the gym, so I'm just continue on right about now. I'm gonna take on- ugh, there's so many trainers here, there's like four or more or something like that. Oh, uh, look at my grass Pokemon. Oh, uh, but it's a randomizer, I don't think you have a grass type Pokemon author. Yeah, exactly, a fire type, like the complete opposite of a grass type. But anyways, boys, I don't think it's gonna happen in this episode. It depends on how much action Rob gets here, but hopefully by like the next episode he becomes a Charizard. But what makes me worried is that once he becomes a Charizard, all three of my main team members are gonna be weak to uh, electric type attacks. So yeah, that's gonna be uh, pretty scary. I'm actually glad that we got a Sand Slash last episode. And if you missed last episode, then what you doing, man? You gotta go check it out. But hey, Rob's now two levels away. Okay. Maybe it's this episode. I don't know. It depends. That's why I'm going to fight like all the trainers in here. Just to get as much experience as I can. Because uh, then after this gym, I'm going right back to the Pokemon Tower. Because you know, you, if you know the trick, you know that I'm not going to be going to the to the game corner. And the Rocket Hideout. I probably won't get all the way through the Pokemon Tower. But hopefully I'll get through like some of it. I don't know. Maybe. Alright, let me go battle this person that's around here. What's up, boy? Ugh. Now, we're gonna. I don't know why I made that more noise. It sounded like I was disgusted or something. I was just trying to. I literally just had lunch, so I still have some taste of like food in my mouth. I'm like, that, that's what I was trying to. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, man. We got the seal right here, though, that absorbs still. I mean, my moves just aren't doing as much as I, I want them to do, but. You know what, we gotta deal with it. I mean, Fly actually does really help. Oh, and Barry's level 34? Okay. And you have an Ekans. Alright, we should be able to one-shot this thing so we don't have to deal with Rap because that's very annoying, man. Very annoying. Yeah, that's right. Ekans, aka Snake, if you watch my Pokemon Yellow Challenge. If you didn't, you should definitely go check it out. We got the whole challenge playlist um, on my channel if you go into my playlist section. and. In literally seven minutes from where I'm at, a new my um, well, yeah, I could say it because this video is going away after it, like almost a, a little over a week after uh, it's uploaded. My nose pass challenge is going up, so I'm pretty excited about that. But of course, you guys have hopefully already seen it. If you haven't, what are you doing, man? But better go check that out. All right, Dragonair. Um. I, I thought last episode, I think I tried to hit it with like a bone club or something, thinking, and then I thought it was part flying, but it's actually not. Oh, Poliwhirl, okay. Poliwhirl, meet your dada. Poliwrap, aka Dojo. Dojo coming in here, even though it's a grass type Jamie's like, bro, I don't care, it's a randomizer. And I, I love how the lasses in this game got randomized to gents. It just, it just makes it so, like, it fits so perfectly, I don't know. Alright, another gent, I'm assuming. Oh, who is this? Entrepreneur, okay. I didn't even know that was our trainer class. And she has a Gengar. That's actually not... Actually, no, we have Bone Club, man, because they don't got Levitate in this game, because there are no abilities. Speaking of abilities, dude, once I get to, like, Ruby and Sapphire, that's gonna be awesome. Or, I don't know, I might... I'm thinking about doing Sapphire, because I've done... I've played through Ruby. I've never played through Sapphire, but, um, yeah. The abilities will be randomized, and that will play like a huge part into the whole, you know, aspect of a randomized nuzzle. It's something crazy because you could get a legendary, and then its ability be freaking slow start, and then you're just like, well, that sucks. Except slow start probably it wasn't introduced till Generation Four, I think. So I guess not until Diamond and Pearl, because Regigigas. Yeah. Yo, DLCs, bro, those are coming out soon. We got, oh, Hyper Potion, this isn't even the gym leader. What? Why you got a Hyper Potion? Okay. But yeah, DLCs are coming out soon, and we've seen those Galarian uh, Reggies, dude. Those look so cool. And there's like a brand new Reggie. Brand new Reggie, which I think looks awesome. Man, I can't, the problem is I have Pokemon Shield, so I can't even get the, uh, what's it called? The Isle of Armor, I believe. So, and I don't know, I don't want to spend like another $60 and then another $30 just to get that. So I might just wait until October or whenever, it's like late in the fall is when the Crown Tudra is coming out. And I'll probably get that. Alright, here we go, Rob. 
already back out. It seems like you're just out here. Yo, I've never understood his Generation 1 sprite, Charmeleons. It's just so... Like, the horn, I get that he has the little horn on top of his head, but it's not white. It just looks, like, out of place in his Generation 1 sprite. But I know that, you know, in the future games, they fix that and everything. Alright, well, I'm gonna head back now uh, to the Pokemon Center. I don't want to risk anything. You know, we got some time. Just over five minutes in. And we're about to fight the fourth gym leader. Then we're gonna be halfway through the game. And, oh, that's right, you can't register your bicycle. I forgot about that. I was hitting, like, the, the select button. I was like, bro, why is this not working? Zoom, zoom away back to the Pokemon Center. And then we should be able to start on the Pokemon Tower by the end of this episode. So here we go. We got Team Rocket standing around there. Yeah, I don't care about them. I'm not even going to be dealing with them here. Though. The next time I'll have to deal with Team Rocket is in Saffron City. So that's noise. Alright, so yeah, I'm really worried though about once we get the Charizard, dude. It's going to be hype, but it's also going to mean that a freaking Zapdos could really like end my whole team. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm sort of worried, um, hopefully the randomizer just doesn't, I mean, if the Zapdos isn't high leveled, I'm pretty sure it doesn't get, like, um, many good electric time moves by level up, um, because I've seen, like, some other people use them in their randomizers, and theirs weren't that good, uh, so, yeah, hopefully we don't run into, like, too high of a level one, because I think once they get into the 40s, they get, like, Thunderbolt and Thunder, but, until then, they only have Thundershock. Alright. We don't have to worry about it right now, though, because we're not facing one. We're all good, baby. Erica, fight me. No, it's not lovely weather. You're indoors. How can you even tell? Well, I guess you can tell what the weather is. Like, I'm indoors right now, and I can tell that it's sunny outside, so... Yep. So here we go, Erica. Um, what level are her Pokemon? I sort of forgot. Oh, Growlithe, that'll be fine, though. As long as this, if she has a Zapdos after I was literally just talking about it... Uh, alright, what, ha that's gem 1 AI bro, it's broken, like what, she predicted that I was gonna do that much damage, she can use a super potion, yeah, cause that makes sense game, alright, gloom, doesn't she usually have a gloom, that's kinda inter interesting, no, she usually has a vile form I think, but still pretty cool, she has a gloom in the anime, so, that's cool, um, the randomizer gave her an actual gloom, and last up is, Mmm, ah, it's been a while, buddy. Hello, Cloyster. Okay, I'm not keeping in one of my, okay, I'm not keeping in one of my fire types, I mean, one of my, or yeah, I'm not keeping in one of my other Pokemon that I actually weak to you this time around. Paralyze it. Yes, <laughs> yes, oh my gosh. How lucky is that? <laughs> and I'm confused no more. Let's go. Okay. Cloyster, that's what you get. Just Justice is served, baby. Let's go. Rainbow badge. So four down, four to go. Let's go. Oh, I have to make room for that TM? Do I have anything? I feel like I should just toss, like, what's TM25? Swift? Um, no, woman. I'm gonna I'm toss Swift. And let's hope for an electric type TM. That'd be great. Or ground type TM, because that could help me against electric types. Besides Zapdos. What is TM Tron? Mega Punch? I guess that ain't too bad. So you can learn it. I'm not sure. I mean, I know Polyrath probably can't. Oh, wait, no, but it. Oh, it's gonna be like the normal Giga Drain. Yeah. Alright, well, that's also sort of useless. So once I go to the department store, which I'm about to do right now, I'm gonna just go ahead and sell it so I can actually get some money. And I might stock up on some more super potions and stuff, because I feel like I need those. And let me get on my bike. Even though it's sort of annoying how you can't register in this game. Oh, I wish you could. Oh, we just gotta deal with it. Nope, wrong thing. Gotta go to our boy Rob. And yeah, so you guys might be thinking, oh, well, it's Eric Now that you've done the rocket hideout in the game corner, you gotta. Or, I mean, now that you've done. I said that so wrong. Well, it's Airquake. Now that you've done Erica, you gotta go do the Rocket Hideout. <laughs> you guys think I'm doing the Rocket Hideout, don't you? Oh! Oh! They don't tell you the TMs? Oh, that's stupid. I'm gonna just sell that, too, because I don't think I really wanted it. Um. Alright, there's that. Ah, uh, they don't tell you the TMs. Well, that's pointless. 
That is definitely pointless, because, uh, yeah. Oh, free TM. I, I didn't even know. I was just checking to see if that was the guy that gives you the, uh, Poke Doll, but... What's that? TM? A really scratch? Dude, that... I didn't even know that's a freaking TM. What? Ugh, whatever. Where's the dude that just gives me the Poke Doll? It's not here. Come on, man. Where are you at? Is he over here? Let's see. Is it you? Oh, yes, it is. So, yeah, you guys think... Oh, well, Terraquake, now that you've been in Erica, you gotta go to the Rock Game Corner and get the Silk Scope so you can go for Pokemon Tower. Ha ha. You think I'm going to the Rock Game Corner. Ha ha ha. That's a good joke. Oh, man, you guys are funny. But a lot of you people probably already knew what I was doing if you know the trick. Alright, gonna hop back on my bicycle, because I've said it three times now, but, again, can't register in these games. Zoom, zoom away, Sodon City, I'm actually gonna come back through here one more time, because once I get done with this, I gotta go wake up the Snorlax and, uh, go down to Fuchsia City, because that's gonna be our where our fifth gym badge is. I can't even get on my- Oh, why does it make you get off your bike? That's stupid. So we have to take the long walk down the underground tunnel, and we're at the end. Alright, well, oh, that's right, we have a rival battle coming up. I can put, his, his starter is Raticate, I think? I feel like it's Raticate, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Raticate. Alright, so hopefully it doesn't have a randomized Zapdos, or that would be terrible. Alright, uh, Pokemon Tower, I'm gonna sp spray. Splip, 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 splip. Can't speak. I'm gonna spray some repels. And then we're gonna head in. And dude, the music in here, man, it's so good. I and mean, we're back here in Lavender Town. It's, it's so nice. But here we go, rival against a uh, Bab, who I meant to call Baby, because he's a little whiny baby, impatient little butt. But I accidentally hit, um, enter too quickly. So he's got a Moltres. Okay. I really wish I had my Moltres out here, but we know Rob can handle it. He'll get some good EXP from this too. Um, yo, but Moltres, gotta calm down there. He's not gonna have Fly though, so that's nice. Slash him. I was hoping for the kill there, but it's, it's okay. Pex is hardly doing anything. There we go, Rob. So glad that he now has Slash. I mean, Karate Trap wasn't too bad, but now he's got Slash. And now he's one level away. From freaking uh, becoming a Charizard. And if you saw my top 5 favorite candle Pokemon video, you know that I'm not the biggest fan of Charizard. But when you have him in there, I will admit he's strong. I really just don't like him because of his over popularity and how much like love he got from Game Freak. I think that's so dumb. But uh, other than that, I mean, he's a really strong Pokemon. He's still sort of cool looking. Not the coolest one out there, obviously, but in my opinion, at least. But, uh, yeah, I still, I mean, it's great to have him on my team, and you have a magic card. Okay, this should be a pretty easy fight. He's gonna have, like, one more, which I'm guessing is his Radicate. I feel like... Yeah, 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 alright, so, that's his starter that he carries throughout the whole game, Radicate. And we're just flying up in the sky and coming back down and bop. Six and a half minutes to go. I'm wondering if I fight, like, most of these trainers here, I should be able to get up get uh, a Charizard, maybe, I don't know, possibly, I might just have to like, uh, ignore the timer if I, if I'm back at Charmeleon and say, you know what, screw it, I get a Charizard. Alright, switch up my team here, and I don't think I can get encounters right here, so I'm not going to spare repels yet, and now you can start getting encounters, I'm pretty sure, except we can't even get encounters because we don't have the Silph Scope, so, yeah, there's no point of like, even trying to run into something. I wonder, the randomizer, I don't think it randomizes the, uh, what is it, the ghost, so, yeah, I think you just have to, um, unless you get the self scope, then I think you, only the ghosts pop up, because I don't know how the randomizer would randomize the ghost, that'd be kind of cool, though, I wonder, like, how it'd turn out, here we go, Meowth, gonna be easy, yo, I'm actually so glad this is a randomizer, these people all don't have ghost types, because, you know, that'd just be... Pretty annoying, not being able to hit them with normal or fighting type moves. But yeah, I'm not gonna battle every single trainer here, but I'm gonna try and battle like some of them. 
like probably these two right here are gonna grab that randomized item that who knows maybe it's a master ball ho, ho. what if it is though oh slow poke i'm gonna have absorb though except absorb's probably my weakest move but yet it still like does the job for some of these water and rock and ground types look at that just did half of his health baby and we're about to get that six hp back Barry the Beast, man. Yo, I got so many sayings for Barry, aka Barry Mudkip, because he commented on one of my videos. But uh, yeah, we got my boy Barry. Oh, I didn't mean to hit Absorb. I was clicking too fast. Yeah, we have my boy Barry, Barry the Beast. Yeah, nothing else. I, I gotta make up some more. <laughs> Anyways, down goes the Metapod. Alright, randomized item is. Oh! We, we got a revive like last episode too. Or maybe the episode, no, it was the episode before that. We were coming out of the rock tunnel, I think. It was in that little hidden rock or whatever. So, that's very cool. We got a muck right here. Just over four minutes left, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, evolve Rob, but definitely next episode, he will be a freaking Charizard, which is gonna be great. Seems like we have another randomized item. Uh, on this floor too, which is cute. And all these people are got randomized to developers. Okay. Max Ether? Nice. Another one? Whoa, I didn't realize it was this many items. I don't have any room for it, but I don't really want to toss anything. Like, I have a lot of good items, I feel like, right now. And I definitely want to keep all, like, my Elixirs and Max Ethers and Ethers for the Elite Four. Because running out of PP in a Nuzlocke can be the death of you. So, yeah, I better keep all those PP restoring items. Alright, Peck, I, yeah, I don't even need to use Fly. Diglett, you don't have good defenses. I'm sorry, Diglett. You're a great Pokemon. Dugtrio, you are too, but uh, your defenses just... They're not the best, you know? Alright, is this the one with the healing thing? Yeah, it is. It's the thingy with the floor with the healer thing, which is nice. Three minutes left. Uh, we're gonna get to, like, the last floor, I guess. and then Almost be done. We'll get the Poke Flute, and then I'm not gonna... I'm gonna, unless I need to grind uh, off camera or something, I'm not gonna go down to the, was it, like, Route 12, 13, 14, like, all of those routes, man. Anyways, that's kind of strange. We just fought a Diglett, and now a Doug Trio. Oh, the randomizer are really, like, acting up right now. I'm just gonna, it's not acting up, just crazy how it literally gave us Diglett, then Doug Trio. So, I'm going as fast as I can right now, because I really don't just still gotta go. You know what? No. Putting, putting, oh no! No, 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 Rob, go. Rob, Rob, you need to become a troll zone. Come on, baby. Heals up, heals up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I entered the purified zone. I understand. Trainer? I have two minutes. I think I can fight like two or three more trainers, depending on how fast they go. And maybe we get a Charizard. Oh! That's not the Pokemon I needed to fight, though. No, oh, that is not the Pokemon I needed to fight. Slowbro's so tanky and stuff. I did not want to have to fight you. This isn't really going to help me. All right, as long as you don't, like, miss a cut right here, we should be good. All right, there we go. All right, minute 43 seconds. How much experience is that? 843, that ain't bad. We're going to get the randomized item that's down here, unless I have no more rooms for items. Yep, <laughs> I called it. No more room for items. Dude, these people make the weirdest noises. They're like, Burr, Burr. it sounds like they're about to bomb me or something. I'm like, whoa, chill, back off. Need a Reno? Okay, this is only one Pokemon. We're going to hit it with a Fire Blast, and then I... Oh, no. No. Oh, I didn't mean to hit it with a slap. Oh, one shot anyways. Doesn't even matter. Do we get a level? <gasps> All right, I've got to go. I've got to go. Oh, but I don't want to run into any stupid ghosts. Let me quickly... Where's my repels? Where's my repels? There they are. I think I have one more trainer on um, this place. Yeah, this person up here. Please tell me, because this could be my last battle. How many Pokemon does she have? Please just have, like, one. Yes, she has one. It's only a seal, though. It's not going to give, like, great experience points, but I might be able to still get another trainer off. Uh, 45 seconds. Do you guys think we can evolve Rob? <gasps> oh, that's not it. That's not it. No, Rob, you got to get up a level. That ain't it. Last trainer. All right. Oh, right there, right there, right there. This this might be our last trainer. I'm gonna go get that item too. What the? Did she just say give me blood? I swear I just saw her say that. Okay, three Pokemon. This has to be it. 
This has to be where we get our Charizard. Come on, baby. Fire Blast. Doesn't miss. Fire Blast, to be honest, hasn't missed too often for me, which I'm really happy about. I'm not complaining about that. Oh, come on, dude. There's no way he doesn't evolve. He's fought, like, four trainers in a row. Fire Blast. Come on, Rob. Oh. <gasps> Are we getting up a level? Yes! There we go. Okay, I knew it was happening right now. And you have a Nidoran female. Yo! Alright, so this is gonna be, like, my last evolution, at least for my current team right now, I'm assuming. Unless I get, like, someone... Or, yeah, for my current team right now. What? Rob is evolving. Rob is indeed evolving. He is becoming a Charizard, baby! So this is great because, you know, we have two of, like, the best fire types and best flying types in the game on my team right now. But it also means that my whole team is, or my three main team members are all weak to electric type moves. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna see how this plays out. But anyways, that is the end of episode 13 of my Pokemon Red Red My Snuzzlock. Next episode, I'm gonna be finishing off the Pokemon Tower and then heading over to the cycling road and then as soon as we get to future city we're gonna be taking on koga even though i know he has like some level 40 pokemon i think yo i just realized that could be that might be a bad idea but i'm gonna do it because it's a randomizer by that time i'll probably be like level 39 40 anyways so for now i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to drop a like subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss my next upload and until next time deuces